What I want to talk about in this video is two things that got me in trouble, big time, and early sobriety. And what it was is the word chemistry and the word sex. Okay, and you're going to say, what are you talking about, Terry G? What does this have to do with recovery? Well, it has a lot to do with recovery, especially if you're like me. When it comes to relationships, I was very immature and I mistaked those two things for love. I really did. And I could run this video up just with that one statement. Okay, but let me tell you how it worked. When I sobered up, a lot of us were talking about when you met somebody, you got to find that chemistry. You need that chemistry because that chemistry is telling you that she's the one or he's the one for you. Well, that's not necessarily true. It, it really isn't. Just because you have chemistry with somebody doesn't mean you're in love with them. It really doesn't. Chemistry itself, for me now, because I'm much older now and much more mature, chemistry itself is basically something that's inside human beings that make us attract to another human being to make babies, to have kids. It doesn't necessarily mean that we are in love with that person. It just means when I look at that woman or you look at that guy, all those sexual hormones and all that sexual drive picks up, your libido picks up, everything picks up. You wanna have sex with that person, that chemistry I always mistaked for love. This person's for me, this person's for me. I must love them, I'm so attracted to them. And then when I finally got the opportunity to have sex with them, I thought once I had sex with them, I'm in a committed relationship with them. And I would just think this. So once that word chemistry came into play and I felt chemistry because in early sobriety, my libido was very alert and very high. I thought, geez, this person is for me. This person's for me. Sex is great. Sex is fantastic. And, and after I have sex, I automatically am in a relationship. And you know something? I believe that. I really, really did. Just because you have chemistry with somebody and you're having sex with them, be very, very careful how do you handle it. Be very careful because I didn't handle it too well. The first person I was married to, well, not married to, common law with, because of the chemistry and the sex was so good, I moved in with her after a few months. And we're still having wild sex, a wild time in the bedroom, and I still felt, geez, I just love this woman. I'm just really engaged with her, everything about her I love, right? And what eventually happens, the libido settles down, the chemistry wears off, and you start saying to yourself, maybe this woman or this man is not all what I thought she was. What I wanna say to all the guys and all the gals out there, in the beginning when you're dating or meeting somebody in sobriety and you're not sure of it and you're overwhelmed with this lust feeling or what they call chemistry, it all sounds sexy, right? This chemistry stuff, just before you make big life-changing decisions, give it some time. Stay overnight, a thousand nights at the person's place, but keep your own place. Do that, don't commit to them fully. Give it some time, okay? When an alcoholic says, I'm crazy about you, be careful, because you can be crazy about them, <laughs> literally. And I don't know why I want to make this video because I think I know why, it's because it got me in so much trouble. I mistake chemistry for love and this person was for me. And I mistake having sex with somebody that having sex with them meant that I was in a relationship with them and we were a couple and we're gonna make this work no matter what, no matter what. But eventually I woke up and I said, this is terrible. And I wasted so much time with these women and they were great women, they were. They were great women, they're great people. There's nothing wrong with them, it's just that we just didn't get along. Sexually we got along, chemistry we got along. If I see them to this day, I'll probably be attracted to them. But I know we do not get along. I know it, where our personalities are too different. We're just too different of people to get along and it wasn't meant to be. So what I do now is when I date somebody, if I go out with somebody, well, I'm married now, I don't do that. But when I move forward with that, I just gave it some time. 
And one of the best ways to do that is, is don't have sex at all with the person. Hold off as long as you can. And I know if you have the chemistry with the person, it's very hard. But if you can do that, just hold off till you get to know the person a little bit and see how it's gonna go. See if you can talk to them. See if they're on your emotional level. See if they're on your intellect level. Analyze them a little bit. Make sure you're not getting into a situation that you can't handle or you don't wanna get involved with. Some people have different standards that they don't want to have anything to do with people in certain times of their lives. Think about that. Use your noggin. Not, use this head, not the little head, guys. Okay? That's what this video is about, okay? So, I don't know if it's a bit of a rant, but you know, it's an important thing because we need to get the relationships, our significant relationships in sobriety, we need to get them functioning on a positive basis most days because if we don't it can really screw up our sobriety lead to relapse lead to job loss for me lead to jail and job loss and relapse has made the same made the wrong choices in early sobriety about the partners i chose it wasn't them it was me and i knew at the beginning a lot of times that it wasn't right that i went i just kept going for it because i mistake chemistry for love and I thought if you had sex with somebody, you're in a committed relationship. But those two things can play havoc on us. It really can. If you have any questions about this, you can email me a private message or just leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you, okay? Being in a relationship with somebody you love is one of the most rewarding gifts in our sobriety. But please do not be in a rush to get there. Do not be in a rush when you meet that person. Relationships are like recovery. They're a lifetime to build. They're always sort of under construction. They take work, okay? But also they take commitment and they take more than just a physical attraction. They take more than that. They take an emotional, a spiritual, and a mental attraction too. They really can. The wife I have now, Brenda, we're all on those levels. I believe I made a great choice because I took my time. I was attracted to her the first time I met her. I was wanted to ask her out, but I backed off a little bit, well, a lot. And she actually told me she thought I wasn't interested in her, but I was very interested in her. I just wanted to make sure that I could get along with her and that she was good for me and I was good for her. That's what I really wanted to make sure of, that we were compatible. And like nothing's guaranteed. But at least if you think about it a little more, you're more apt to give it a better shot and a better opportunity for the both of you, okay? So God bless. Remember that it's about sex, it's about chemistry. It's an important part of recovery. Take your time, okay? Take your time. You heard it from Terry G, okay? You've heard it from Terry G. Remember that if you, <laughs> I'm just rambling again. I talk too much sometimes in these videos. Just remember, sobriety is freedom. Take it one day at a time, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second, please subscribe. Take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you all next week. Ciao for...